In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw this modern stair using a keycard. And the first step will be opening a new workspace in a keycard. So let's begin with the first step. Open a new workspace. Under design, drop down to stair tool. Click once and then click once in workspace to begin drawing our stair. Drag your mouse and type 4. 1100 millimeter enter and then click on landing drag your mouse and then type 2300 millimeters enter and then click on flight and drag your mouse and type 4100 millimeters enter now let's view our step in 3d right click and drop down to show all in 3D. And this is how it will look like. Now let's click on ground floor. And after that, we are going to draw a slab. So under design, drop down to slab tool. So click on design and drop down to slab tool. Double click on it and the slab default settings will pop up. Under geometry and positioning, type 150 as the slab thickness. Under this, select this option. It's going to be under ground floor and reference plane, click that. Under floor plan and section, these are the settings. And then under model for the override services, for the top surface, we are going to select this option. For this part, select the same option and for the other part select the same option these are the structural and analytical parameters settings and these are the classification and properties settings click on this point drag your mouse to begin drawing your slab and you're going to type in 7000 millimeters by 7000 millimeters click on this slab and then drag it to this point drag it by 2000 
350 millimeters by 1000 millimeters. Now let's view our progress in 3D. And this is how it looks like so far. The next step will be drawing a wall around our step on this part and this other part. Under design, double click on wall tool and the wall default settings will pop up. Under geometry and positioning, click on this part, select not linked, and then for the wall height, type 3000 millimeters, select that option. For the wall thickness, type 150 millimeters. Under model, for the surfaces, we are going to select that option and click on this part and then click OK. Click once in this point, drag your mouse, click on this point, click on that point and this other point to draw your wall and these other points to draw the other part of the wall. And this is how our wall will look like. Now the next step in this tutorial will be using the shell tool to begin drawing our modern stair. Under design, click on shell tool. On this part, select this and then select this. And on this part, for the structure, choose that. And under this, select that. Once you've done that, the next step is to select the design plane that you are going to use for the shell tool. There are two types of planes. We can use that or this. So we are going to select that. Enter and then click on this part and this other point to begin drawing your shell. And then click on this other point. Click on that point. Click on this other point. And then enter. Then drag your mouse and select the point of extrusion. Let's select the extrusion point by typing 50 millimeters by 300 millimeters. Once you do that, you'll see this has been formed. The next step will be changing the thickness of our shell. So select it, right click, and then click on shell selection settings. And under this shell thickness, type 50 millimeters and click OK. Once you do that, you'll notice 
there is this change. Now let's draw the other part of our staircase. So let's draw another shell on this step of our stair. Under design, click on shell tool and then select which plane you're going to use. Select this, enter, click on this point, click on this other point. And then you're going to click on this other point of our stair. Click on this point. And then click on this other point then enter drag your mouse and then type in the extrusion length type 50 by 300 millimeter and then let's change the thickness of our shell Type in 50 millimeters. Now let's draw another shell for the next step. We are going to draw a shell for this next step. This is how the shell look like so far. So under design click on shell tool and then select the plane you want to use enter select this plane click on this point click on this other point And then click on this point. And then click on this other point of the stair. Enter. Drag your mouse and specify the extrusion length. Type 50 by 300. And then let's change the thickness of our shell type 50 millimeters enter and this is how our shell look like so now let's draw another shell for the next step under design click on shell Tool. Select the plane. Click on this point of our stair. And then click on this other point of our stair. And then click on this other point. And select this other point. Then enter. 
and specify the extrusion length type 50 by 300 millimeters then let's change the thickness of our shell type 50 millimeter and then click on ok and this is how our shell looks like now let's draw the next shell of the next step of our step under design drop down to shell tool select that plane click on this point this other point rotate the drawing and click on this other point and then click on this other point enter drag your mouse to specify the extrusion length type 50 by 300 millimeter and then let's change the thickness of our shell type 50 millimeter this is how this stair looks like so far now let's draw a shell for the next step under design drop down to shell tool select this plane click on this point and then click on this other point then select let's rotate our drawing and then click on this other point And then click on this other point enter and drag your mouse specify the extrusion length type 50 by 300 millimeters then let's change the thickness of our shell and type 50 millimeters the next step will be drawing a shell for the next step of our jacket select shell tool select this plane click on this point drag your mouse and click on this point rotate our drawing and click on this other point then click on this other point enter type 50 by 
300 millimeter. Then let's change the thickness of our shell. Type 50 millimeters and click OK. Now let's draw a shell for the next step of our step. So under design, drop down to shell tool. Select this plane. Click on this point. Click on this other point. And then click on this other point of our stair. Click on this other point. Enter, drag your mouse and type 50 by 300 millimeters. Click on the shell and let's change the thickness of our shell. Type 50 millimeters and click OK. Now let's draw the shell for the next step. This next step, we are going to draw a landing for our stair. So we are going to click on design and select shell tool select that plane click on this point drag your mouse and click on this other point Enter. Then drag your mouse and type. Fifty by one thousand millimeters. Now let's change the thickness of that shell. And type 50 millimeters and click OK. Once you've done that, click on the stair and delete it. And once you do that, you will only be left with the shells that we have drawn so let's change the thickness of this shell type 50 millimeters so the next step now will be editing our shell and you're going to begin by changing the material of our of our slab. Right click and select slab selection setting under model. For the override surfaces, select that and click OK. Then 
the next step will be changing material for our shell. Select all the shells. Right click, select shell selection settings. Under model, for the override surfaces, we are going to select this option and click on this point and click OK. And this is how it will look like. The next step will be editing our shell edges. And let's begin with the first step of our step. Click on this shell and then click on the edge of our shell. Drag your mouse and select this point. Select fillet and type 300 millimeters as the radius and click OK. Repeat the same process for the next step of our shell. Select this point, type 300 millimeters, do the same for the rest of the shells. I'm going to use the same radius. Now let's do the same for the other edges of our shell. Select the first shell. Click on this part and then enter the same radius as the other part of our shell. Use the same radius. Click on the shell. Click on the edges, select this part, type 300 millimeters as the radius. And that's how you draw a modern stair in Akikad. So this is how our stair will look like after you've drawn it.